so who can tell what is mechanical method no sir collection of insect or work destruction of insect by manual uh, manually very good yes or no that means either collection and destruction of the insect manually or by using some mechanical devices or by imposing a barrier okay a mechanical barrier that is known as what your mechanical method through which we will reduce the pest population yes or no okay so here you yes, can see yes. the definition the reduction or suppression of the insect population by means of manual devices or machine manual devices means it may include your hands also okay or machines is referred as what your mechanical control otherwise what you see use of mechanical device any kind of devices or manual forces like your using of hands for the destruction or exclusion what do you mean by exclusion what do you mean removal sir removal, removal sir excluding okay that means suppose uh, i will uh, ha, okay removal but suppose i will tell mm, uh, in e section okay all will come under entomology excluding suppose i will tell one uh, student name that means uh, am i remo uh, removing him or just i am uh, wherever he i am not taking him yes on that means preventing a barrier anyway that is right answer okay that means a portion that means suppose you see in a plant okay uh, on the top leaves okay what happened uh, some of the paste came so you are excluding the things means suppose you see whatever the portions are affected leave one whatever the healthy portion are there there you have applied in between you have applied some mechanical forces like alkathen means something you have done okay alkathen bending suppose or just like your in case of millivolt for mango at the trunk region starting from the base of the plant starting from the soil region we will apply this alkathen bending so that what will happen the scroller of the millivolt cannot crawl up due to this alkathen bending and they cannot go to the healthy portion which is the susceptible portion like your immature twigs or branches or pedicel not branches pedicel or your succulent leaves or flower they will suck up on that those portion if they cannot cross this trunk so how they will go to this leaves yes or no this is what exclusion yes or no those crawler of the millivolt were excluded from the target sites understood what is exclusion preventing uh, sorry imposing a barrier yes or no understood yes sir okay is known as what your mechanical method of pest control or pest management okay now you see first on its collection and destruction okay so insect have different kind of life stages it may be egg stage larva stage pupa stage adult stage whatever so suppose i will tell you egg stage can anyone give me one example where we are uh, collecting and destroy those egg stage of the insect yellow stem borer sir yellow stem borer sir borer what you are doing generally clipping yes or no clipping of the leaf tips yes yes tell clipping of the leaf tips someone it is coming on cultural but if you are thinking this preventing or collecting and destroying those eggs then it will be somewhat coming under what your mechanical method okay so this egg mass of rice stem borer sporocrylitra okay red hairy caterpillar whatever the egg stage of any kind of insect if you can visualize that one simply go for manual collection and destruction even with your hand also you can uh, do this method yes or no understood yes then yes sir larva stage you see similarly in all kind of insect their immature stage is there larva stage is there grub stage is there stage is there so what you need to do you have to collect and destroy them suppose in case of red gram plant you have seen where uh, in the campus red gram plants were there in the campus where red gram plants were there so many plants uh, totally broadcasted where tribal tribal village very good yes or no so you have seen the plant are they very hard or you can simply uh, shake them easily red gram plant you can easily shake we can easily yes easily no? shake very good yes or not like mango tree yes or no so if this larva will be there larva for uh, what helicorpa armigera can anyone tell me what will be the common name of helicorpa armigera in case of red gram red gram what may be in case of cotton helicorpa armigera is known as american bollworm 
ball worm that means they are attacking the ball that's why it is known as ball worm yes or no suppose in case of red gram what they will be told what is gram pod borer gram pod borer because that is a pod the fruit type is pod yes or no suppose in case of tomato that will be known as <coughs> fruit fruit borer getting my point or not understood yes sir yes sir like yes, so sir. many common names are there in case of helicorpa armigera leave that one okay so if you shake those plant red gram plant then what will happen this helicorpa will fall down in the soil then immediately go for collection and destruction of those larva understood similarly see yes sir in case of this podocrea litura or helicorpa whatever may be the caterpillar red hairy caterpillar bihar hairy caterpillar any kind of caterpillar their first instar second instar if that will be collected then they may not become third instar and you do not have to bother they may not cause the damage to the plant yes or no hand picking and destruction okay similarly in case of sugarcane in their stock okay in case of sugarcane so many kind of borer are there what are the borers Two three example you tell common name only you tell scientific name not required. <coughs> top shoot borer sir. Ha huh, any other? Top shoot borer sir. Pink stem borer. Okay. Early shoot borer is there. Yes or no? Then this Gurudaspur borer is there. So many kind of borers are there. Yes or no? So if <coughs> whatever the stocks are there that is affected by the borer, if you collect and destroy them, that means the affected region is destroyed. Along with that, larva is destroyed. Along with that, whatever the eggs laid in those person, <coughs> they will also be destroyed. Yes or no? So those infested cane stock should be destroyed. Understood? Removed and destroyed. Yes or no? <coughs> Then, coming to your collection and destruction of fallen infested fruits is effective against fruit fly and fruit borer. I have completed cultural method now in your section. Cultural method. Yes, sir. Okay. So now you tell me how this collection and destruction of the fallen infested fruit can reduce the fruit flies. What is the life cycle of fruit flies? What is the life cycle of fruit flies? You see what I have told you. Fruit flies. Okay. Which stage will attack the fruit? Ripened stage, sir. Mature stage, sir. Mature or larva stage? Sir, which or oh, which okay. stage will attack the fruit, okay, sir? Larva stage. Larva stage. Fruit, huh? Fruit is okay, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Larva stage. Larva is known as what? Or maggot? Yes or no? So, if maggot will feed on the fruits, then what will happen to the fruits? It will be damaged. The fruits will shrink, sir. Yes, sir. It will be damaged. Decayed. Yes or no? Again, secondary infest uh, infection of the pathogen may be there. So, what will happen to the fruit? Fruit will fall down. Yes or no? If fruit will fall down, yes, sir. Down, then what this maggot will do? Maggot will enter in soil, sir. Soil in the soil, what they will do? They will pu uh, pupate. Very good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. When the fruits are falling, if at that time you will go for collection and destruction of those of those fruit, then what will happen? <coughs> Along with the fruits, maggots will be destroyed. Maggots won't pupate. How adult will come? If adult won't come, how they will multiply? Yes or no? That's why it is recommended that in case of uh, your fruit flies, you can go for this manual collection and destruction of the fruits, fallen over fruits. Understood why? Yes, sir. Yes or no? Huh? That is the reason. Okay. But if you see racking and hoeing around the melon trees or fruit plants for fruit flies, means that will come under your cultural method. Okay. Then you see in case of pink bollworm. Okay. The scientific name is. Pectina fara gossypella. Yes or no? They shows the symptom of roseate flower. Okay. Uh, again, in this case of spotted bollworm, you see what will happen: wither and dropping terminal, uh, terminal portion of this bowl. Okay. Those things what will happen if are there in the plant? You have to go for manual collection and destruction because inside those symptom of the plant, that particular insect is there. And if you go for destruction, then egg, along with the larva stage, so the insect may also be killed. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Then this pruning and destruction of infested shoot we have also discussed in case of cultural also. Yes or no? This clean cultivation in pruning and thinning all those things. Okay. Here what will happen? 
whatever the affected portions are there along with that some healthy portions will be pruned or tre uh, trimmed or cut yes or no for which what will happen your those what which insect mealybug scale insect aphid or white fly they can be managed sucking paste understood yes or no yes sir okay then this passing of rope this is used against which insect bph sir passing of ropes used against which pest case form sir not audible someone is telling something it's breaking against case worm or army worm yes or no leaf folder also you can use this one what will happen if you do such kind of things what will happen they will fall in water sir they will fall in water you do not have to apply more amount of insecticide on the plant simply you can apply very less quantity of insecticide in the water they will be killed again what you can do you can go for drainage so that those larva will drain away yes or no huh passing of rope in case of yes sir pencil. understood this lord see whatever the larval stages of the left pitched okay insect we have discussed these things huh iron hook use first uh, for which insect rhinoceros beetle you see in case of rhinoceros beetle what will happen this rhino will be there okay if rhino will be there and if you use this one then what will happen it will be interlocked and you can easily pull those rhinoceros beetle yes or no yes sir yes then what you can do in case of storgen paste this sieving and winnowing yes or no this one you can do in case of your storgen paste so that the grains will be separated from the store grain paste okay this is a similar thing clipping and destruction here we have discussed already ha huh? pruning and all for your sucking paste like your mealybug aphid scale for them you can do this thing ha huh? trimming sorry trimming or pruning okay clipping destruction these things we can do this uh, sucking paste or in case of your rice stem borer to their extent yes or no yes sir yes sir so now coming to your devices and huh? this is what manual collection and destruction is over now coming to mechanical <laughs> devices first one is entolator who can tell what is the uh, concept behind this entolator can anyone tell concept behind this entolator who can tell we have discussed in the ipm course suppose you are doing the winnowing what is happening actually winnowing you know everyone must have done uh, girls especially yes or no winnowing yes sir yes sir if on yes sir while doing winnowing what will happen you tell me what is happening the lighter particles will be uh, separate the heavier one settle and the wind blows that uh, has grain sir yes sir no? huh? yes sir okay the pericarp or whatever uh, we can tell the choppa yes or no ha huh? that will be thrown yes, outwardly because they are lighter in uh, weight and this heavy one will collect it towards you yes or no so yes sir in this entolator same concept has been given how you see this is the inlet it will be here okay then this will be collection chamber and this is the outlet or throwing away the particles okay so here what will happen if you put like this okay suppose you see two kind of particles are there one is healthy grain one is unhealthy grain infested by insect okay if you go for winnowing then what will happen healthy will come towards you or away sound grain two type of grains are there one is healthy grain one is damaged grain so which one will be having more weight healthy, healthy one healthy one so if you go for winnowing what will happen healthy will come towards you yes or no in those damaged yes, grains that means those are affected by the insect what will happen they will be thrown away similarly if you do such kind of things here then what will happen whatever the heavy grains are there they will be collected at the bottom and whatever the light grains are there they will be repelled away due to this yes typical rotation motion inside this with some particular rpm rotation per minute from grain to grain from size of the grain the rpm may vary according to the size and weight of the grains rpm may vary okay it will be specified understood yes sir okay so this is what your entolator effective against your store grain paste for separating the 
grains affected by the paste and or from the healthy grains understood yes sir then coming to tillage implement it is used to expose the soil born insect just like a deep summer plowing cultural method so if question will come deep summer plowing comes under cultural method tillage comes up under cultural method but this use of tractor <coughs> for deep summer plowing this use of tillage implements for tillage purpose will come under your mechanical method mechanical okay okay good then this mechanical trap like your red trap here you can see okay this scare crow okay screw crow okay then this drumming this insect hand net this can be used for what your different kind of paste this drum or sting slot where they can be used uh, okay scare crow these things can be used in against which paste birds yes or no birds monkeys okay fox jackal this drum those things can be used not for insect Yes or no? Yes, yes sir. sir. Collection net is for what your insect. Okay. Then use of preventive barriers. Okay, mechanical exclusion. Okay. So here you can see uh, this wrapping the fruits. You can see, huh? Wrapping the fruits like this, like this, begging the fruits. Okay. If you do, then what will happen? They are mechanically excluded from the paste. Yes or no? Then bending. What is that? Alkathene bending. In case of mango millibug in which crop which plant mango plant to do what if you apply this alkathene bending around the trunk region then what will happen this crawler stage of the millibugs they cannot crawl above okay and they will be forced to go to the soil only there they will adult then they will again lay their eggs only they will be there in the soil only they cannot come to the tree succulent portion succulent in the sense these two eggs okay this leaves flower they cannot attack which is our productive stage productive form understood or not huh? from the flower fruits will emerge that cannot be attacked attack by the millivolts understood yes sir very very important question generally comes alkathene bending you use, use against which paste or alkathene bending comes under which method such kind of question may come in the exam okay then this netting use of uh, mosquito <coughs> sorry net against your mosquito or any, any kind of vector control in case of greenhouses yes or no said net we are giving completely poly house we are uh, constructing yes or no netting can be done then trenching like this huh you can see 30 to 60 centimeter wide and 50 centimeter depth trench will be there and here the uh, insecticide will be applied that means what will happen the healthy plant cannot be affected by the what damage plants Suppose this is the healthy plot, this is the damaged plot. So if the insect will come like this, then only they can attack. For crawling insect, walking insect, like your larva and all, they can be managed here only. But suppose the insect is flying insect, for them this is not effective, trenching method. Yes or no? Understood? Yes sir. Safety in barrier. Suppose two situations are there. In one way, suppose a store, uh, storage go down is there. And one veranda is given, like uh, suppose uh, 1.5 meter, like that, huh? that much height, veranda has been given. If that will be a rough surface, can the rats crawl up and climb? No. No, sir. No, yes, rough I have told, na? they can climb, yes or no. But if that will be very smooth, just like your, we are doing as a plaster or the steam will provide, can they crawl up and can they climb that one, if that will be smooth? No. Yes or no? They will slide again, return back. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. So, this thin barrier can be used in case of coconut palm trees. Okay. So, that this rats cannot, cannot climb up. Understood? Then, this electric fencing, you know, it may be for uh, human uh, paste. Yes or no? This thieves or animal paste like red, jackal, monkey, fox. For them, you can use this electric fencing. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Hmm? There is nothing to tell. Yes, sir. Okay. Then different type type of traps are there. Yes or no? Huh? Light trap, sticky trap, bait trap. So many are there. So what is light trap? Can anyone tell? Sir, one light source. So these traps are. Sticky things are there. They will. Okay, attract. one light source will be there. Good. Huh? Then. What? The nocturnal insects will get um, pests will get attracted to to the light traps. 
Yes or no? That means uh, you see they must be nocturnal and they must be positively phototrophic. Yes or no? Then what will happen? They will come towards the light. Below the light one baffle will be there through which they will enter inside. And at the bottom what will happen? One trap will be given like some water you can use or some insecticide you can use. Then what will happen? They will be trapped and killed. Yes or no? This is what your light trap. Very good. Okay. Uh, so then coming to sticky trap. What is sticky trap? One color paper will be there and some uh, transparent gum will be above that color paper. Very good. Yes or no? So okay. Which color? Yellow color will be used. For which insect? Generally, this just said, afraid my fly for them can use. Yes or no? So, yellow color sticking trap. That's why it is known as what your yellow sticky trap. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yellow may be for this paste. Some other color can be used for some other insect. Okay. If you tell uh, this visible spectrum of human being, what is the visible spectrum of human being? 380 to 750 nanometers, sir. That means? Oh. Violet to? Red, yes or no? Vibgyor, yes or no? P I G G Y O R, yes or no? Hmm? Yes or no? Yes, sir. But in case of yes, insect, sir. what happens in, in case of insect? U B also, yes or no? U B violet, then coming up to red. Yes or no? In case of insect? Yes or no? They can perceive more. Web, yes, sorry. Sir. Even lesser wavelength. Yes or no? This is the visible spectrum. Yes, sir. But if you think about the response of the insect towards this spectrum then what will happen uv to this vibg okay that means up to green that is attractive towards them but if you think about this yellow orange and red generally they are repulsive for them they will try to repel away from those particular three wavelengths the three colors yes or no yellow orange and red but exception in case of this aphid just said white fly thrips okay those, these are the exceptional insect which come towards the yellow color. That's why yellow sticky trap is used. But for other insect, you can use some other color so that they can be attracted. Understood the difference? Visible yes, spectrum sir. is UV to red. Attractive spectrum is UV to green. Repulsive spectrum is yellow to red. Yellow, orange, red. Okay. B, I, B, G plus UV. Attractive y o r repulsive exception in case of this afraid white fly thrips just it. understood clearly or any doubt is there okay this one huh yellow sticky trap okay understood yes sir okay what is bait trap what is bait trap Bait, you know, uh, have you applied any red killers at your home, at your home? Any red? Yes, sir. Okay, what you are doing for killing that red? One is mechanical device we are using now. Yes or no, red trap we are using. Or else this book-like thing. Yes or no, if you open that one, <coughs> gum will be provided. Reds are coming, they cannot move again. Yes or no, they are trapped. Yes or no, that is mechanical device. What is a bait trap? Even uh, your red trap are also one kind of bait. Yes or no? What you are doing inside the bait, inside the red trap, what you are doing? One, food material you are keeping. It is coming inside, then the gate is closed. Yes or no? Some kind of bait trap. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, sir. That means you are attracting the uh, particular paste. Yes or no? In bait trap, what you are? Suppose you have purchased some red killer, retex powder. Huh? You have uh, purchased. So what you are doing with that? Are you applying those things uh, just like broadcasting the seeds at your home floor? Are you doing like that? Keeping it up in a place where uh, most of the red, red will pass or it's seen. No, that book you are keeping like this. But uh, that uh, red, uh, great killer, uh, like that you are putting? Just like feeding a dog no, with uh, pedigree? No, what you are doing? No, <coughs> this poison where you are keeping? Inside rice or inside tomato? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Inside a food material you are putting? Yes or no? Suppose two situations. Yes, are sir. There. Suppose two situations are there. Situation A: You have kept rice or some tomato 
and inside that you have mixed that particular poison and you have kept second option is what rice is there inside that you have mixed that particular red poison above that you have added some chicken uh, juice suppose you have uh, done the curry chicken curry in that juice that syrup you have kept or mixed with this rice to which situation the rat will go situation a where uh, syrup is not there or situation b where chicken juice is there where they will go where they will b go? sir b yes or no because some attract and yes sir yes or no yes sir Huh? Yes, sir. In front of your gate, the leaf shop is there. The tea time is there. Where you are going? Tea time. Yes, sir. No? The attractant is there. The hygienic condition is there. Similarly, here also what will happen? You are adding a attractant. Yes, sir. No? So you see, three things are there here. This poison. This poison will be known as scientifically, entomologically. Poison will be known as what? Your active ingredient. Yes, sir. No. We have discussed so many times. in ipm course what is that active ingredient what is the rice rice is known as carrier yes or no and what is this chicken juice that will be known as inert matter attractant auxiliary material so basically three components are there one is active ingredient the poison second one is the carrier the rice and third one is the attractant or inert matter that is your chicken juice so that the rat will come for the food the chicken juice will attract it to definitely so that the rat will come and poison will be mixed so that the rat will feed on them and they will die similarly fish meal trap are used against your sorghum supply these pests are attracted towards your fish meal so fish meal will be kept along with that pesticide will be mixed they will come they will roam and they will die what is pitfall trap so there will be a uh, uh, dung, uh, uh, some soil will be taken out and that will be if insects will be crawling and it will fall down sir ah uh, very good that is used against which pest so the beetles okay so the inhibiting insect inhibiting insect yes or no the beetles it may be or ants or whatever yes or no ha huh? just a minute i will show you a picture okay uh, is it visible now Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So now you see these two picture. Okay. Uh, so here, what is happening? You see, this is what your pitfall trap. Okay. Again, what will happen here? Okay. Again, what will happen here? Okay. They will put some sticks, something like that. Above that, soil will be covered. So that what will happen? Whatever the insect will come, they will fall down inside. Okay. And inside, some pesticide can be used or some uh, any kind of uh, water can be used. Okay. So that what will happen? Insect will be trapped. and this will be inside situation of the insect understood they will come they will fall down and they will be trapped here understood what is pitfall trap yes or no yes sir okay next one is your what pheromone trap what is a pheromone trap can anyone tell what is a pheromone trap what is a pheromone trap Sir, to attract the female, uh, one male hormone will be there in a, in a capsule like, uh, and below that one pouch will be there. They will come and they will trap in that pouch. Okay, that means they are using the sex pheromone. Yes or no? Generally, what happens? Females will produce the sex pheromone towards which male will be attracted for mating by utilizing the sex pheromone. That means sex pheromone is naturally prepared. Okay. Then what we will do? We will artificially prepare. Yes or no? We will prepare that artificially. Okay, uh, that sex pheromone. Okay, by identifying the chemical composition. Okay, and it will be kept inside a capsule. Yes or no? Okay. Is it visible now? My screen. Yes, sir. So where this capsule? Yes, sir. This pheromone will be kept here. and it will be your whole pheromone trap it will be kept in the field suppose you have kept helilure helicorp armigera female pheromone inside uh, synthetic pheromone inside this uh, funnel now what will happen whatever the male insect of helicorp armigera are there they will come and they will be captured inside and here some poison will be kept they will be killed understood yes or no this is what your yes sir pheromone trap mating disruption also you can 
tell if we can do mating disruption through this what pheromone trap okay next one is water probe trap okay here you can see this is the probe trap okay you see uh, just a minute i will show you a video you can understand is now why you see what they are doing they have used one probe trap okay inside which what is happening again your pheromone is there okay so if you put this uh, probe trap like this you see due to presence of pheromone inside what is happening okay those insects are attracted towards it and now you see they will show you those rice weevil are captured inside understood understood yes sir again you see what they are doing okay same thing they are doing rice weevil are there yes or no okay so they have inserted one program you see somewhat bigger one okay and they have closed that one for some time then again they will collect the insect appropriate pheromone must be kept inside then only it is possible <coughs> Okay, you see now they will open and show you insect are trapped. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Only advantage. What is the advantage <coughs> of using this trap mechanical method? There is no residual uh, effect on our uh, economic or food part. Yes, sir. No. That means no at all use of your insecticide, home labor utilization. Yes or no? Low cost equipment are only we are using. Yes or no? High technical skills are also not required. Yes or no? No side effect, no insecticide, no residue problem, nothing. Okay? Disadvantage is what? Sometimes repeated use of the mechanical device may use more labor, which may have more input cost. Okay? It can be practiced in small scale only. In larger scale, it cannot be used. Yes or no? Huh? These are the advantage and disadvantage. Understood what is prop trap? Yes or no? Understood? Clearly or any doubt is there? Yes, yes sir. Okay.